In winter, fisheries biologists work through data to identify fish species that need to be stocked or trapped and transported into state waters. What that provides then is a collection of needs for say northern pike fingerlings, for walleye fingerlings. How many northern pike eggs do we need? How many walleye eggs do we need? Uh, and then with the trap and transport, where's our source of adult perch that we're gonna trap this year? The first fish species to be stocked in the spring are rainbow trout. We ship roughly uh, uh, a little over 50,000 fish and they're you know about a half pound each so it's like 25,000 pounds of uh, rainbows we go to about 40 45 lakes every spring biologists stock Chinook salmon into Lake Sakakawea we're looking at roughly 340,000 Chinook salmon a little over 10 11,000 pounds of fish the request for northern pike fingerlings in the last few years has been down but the request for walleye fingerlings remain strong. This year with our northern pike, we're looking at a little over a million fingerlings, uh, which will take just uh, right around five million eggs. Our walleye needs there this year are down just a little bit because we had such fantastic uh, uh, survival and recruitment last year in our big systems, Devil's Lake, Stump Lake, uh, Lake Sakakawea. So we're right at about nine million fingerlings. So we're gonna need roughly 50 million eggs to fill that request. Um, it's roughly 160 lakes we're gonna be going to with the walleyes this year. Last year was the first year tiger trout were stocked in a couple of lakes in North Dakota. We're gonna be doing the tiger trout from Wyoming again this year. We got three lakes. Uh, we're gonna be stocking with those. Fishing over the last decade has never been better and that can be attributed in most cases to the stocking program. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.